we're entering Canada and we're going to be stopping at the border here. Last year we came through this area a little bit farther to the east and we had to get through Canada in four days. This time we can actually, since we've got our three vaccine shots and we've taken a COVID test this morning, we can use, you can use the quick one, um, then we can actually go into Canada and spend our time through there. Welcome to British Columbia, Canada, right on. <laughs> services north and it's got a little snow and some ice on the road so we're getting our studded tires put on and we are going to winterize the camper. Last night we spent the night at Walmart and we are leaving and heading north to Dawson Creek. It's 39 degrees. Now we just went through the mountain pass. We had some snow here last night. The plows have already been through. It's about uh, 36 degrees and slushy. and it got down pretty cold last night. It's 14 degrees right now, so I think it was a little bit colder last night. Uh, the propane heater was okay. We didn't want to burn out the batteries, so we just kept it at about 50 degrees. <laughs> it was pretty cold, but we had our sleeping bags really nice and warm. And we're heading out of here, heading to Liard Hot Springs to take a nice bath. Wow, four minutes ago it was nine degrees. Now it's 34 degrees. The truckers are staying on top of the mountain here. They know. They're talking to each other. We're at 
Liard River Hot Springs. I didn't know what to expect here. Like, there's a lodge across the road, and these are real hot springs. There's nothing down here except this hot springs. It's not a big commercialized area. These are cool. Nice and quiet here. Yeah, you're out in the middle of nowhere here, so there's not a lot of people that are just going to come out here specifically for these hot springs. It's more of a, you know, it's a provincial park, so you just stop here on your way through. And there's a trail out to the hot springs, so we're going to go follow this trail. I can see some warm water here. It must be pretty close. Changing clothes here. This is the source. You can see it bubbling up, coming in from down underneath the earth there. If I get a little bit closer, I will burn my hand off. It is really hot there. Woo, back up, that's hot. <laughs> oh, Bonnie has the hot springs all to herself. It's really nice, really nice stop here. Nobody in the springs here today. Yeah, I'm gonna dry off. You ready? Okay. Well, last night we spent, uh, stayed overnight there at the hot springs. It was minus seven. Woo hoo, that was cold. Let's get out of here, heading to Whitehorse. to America in Alaska. Okay, we're gonna go spend the night in Toke and then head off in the morning to Anchorage. Uh, well, we stayed in Toke, Alaska last night. They said, oh, it's gonna get down to like maybe 14 or 13 degrees. It's negative two degrees. The camper kept up the heat, or the heat never kept up. It just it kept everything from freezing in there. So my hands are frozen and we're ready to go. God be with us and 
Let's have a good day and get home. Anchorage, Alaska. Here we come, Fifi. Four bulls hanging together, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Because the bulls like to hang together because usually. See, I don't want to go between them because they might just run off into the side of the vehicle. They'll get tired of riding the road, they'll go off. I don't want to go too fast though because they'll slip and hurt themselves. Walk around out here, it's not the beach snow. 